up YouTube? Tonight's video will be showing you how to reassemble your rocker arm assembly in a from a RSX Type S head or a K20A2 um, or an Acura TSX head. Uh, there's a couple other different ones that I can't think of off the top of my head that have this same type of rocker assembly. Um, this is the three lobe VTEC assembly. There are some that come with a two lobe and so that'll be a little bit different than this one. Um, this one has three and so it changes the whole rocker assembly. Uh, it just changes. Anyways, so to get down to it, let me go ahead and reposition the camera. Alright, so I took mine all the way apart so that I could clean them properly and make sure everything was functioning before I rebuilt my engine. So, to start off with, this is the camshaft holder. Uh, this is number one. It's got a number one marking right... Well, this one doesn't have a number one marking. Anyways, this is the one that's all the way at the end right next to where the timing chain would be. Your camshafts go here. Anyway, so these are your rocker shafts. Um, they will go in here. And we're going to start out, this is the number one, like I said. And we'll go ahead and place these in. As you'll see, there will be a thick end and there will be a thin one. The thick end goes in that side. Also, you'll see how they're turned. Um, when your VTEC system engages, oil is pushed through there. Um, and, that come, and the oil is pushed through this shaft right here. Um, so you'll have to kind of get these lined up. Hopefully you can see that. It has to be able to pass through. Alright, so we've got these in. Next is the fun part. The part that is probably why everybody, uh, most of the people are watching this is because your rocker assembly exploded uh, <laughs> because you didn't have rubber bands or whatever on it. So I'll go through how to put these parts back together. All these are going to be the same. It's going to be the same setup as far as, um, like I was saying, with the three VTEC, uh, three low VTEC system. So anyways, uh, you'll have one of these <clears throat> that has no hole on the side, that would be, an, I guess you can call it an end, uh, an end roller or rocker. You'll have the middle one. And then, if I can find one that has a hole in it, there it is. And then you'll have one that has a hole in the end. So when the hole is pushed through here, there's a little hole on the side. Right there. There's a little hole and that hole passes into there and then into this assembly, the one that has no hole at the bottom. Hopefully you can kind of see it right, oops, there we go. right in there, that's where the oil passes in. So we'll go ahead and put that one on. Alright, the pins. You have a couple different pins and springs. Let's get one of each. You will have a solid small pin, or a solid short pin. You'll have a long solid pin. You have a hollow small pin, and you have a spring. So we're gonna put in the small pin first. Just slide it right in. Then we'll put this on next. Then you put in the large solid pin. The next one will be one that has a hole in the end of it. That will be the next one to go on. But before you do that, you want to assemble your little spring thing. You got your hollow pin, you put your spring inside of it. And that will actually go just like this. So that when there's no oil pressure, when you're at idle, when the VTEC is not being engaged, this rocker will be locked into that rocker. Sorry, it will not be locked. <laughs> it will not be locked in. My bad. So all three of these will are able to to move independently. When the oil pressure comes in, it'll push that bottom pin into the top one. 
that will also push the pendants in here into this one. When the oil pressure releases, it, the spring pressure pushes all of them back. And that's usually the thing that sends your, your rocker assembly flying. Alright, now we're going to go on the exhaust side. The exhaust side is somewhat flipped around. Alright, so we'll start out with, ow, with the one that has a hole in the bottom. I'll go ahead and slide that one down. Then we'll put in our hollow spring, our hollow pin in our spring. I always like to try and put these in backwards for some reason. And you got your middle one. You got your long solid pin. And then, if I can find one. There we go. You got your solid, uh, the one that doesn't have a hole in it. And you want to go ahead and put your pin in. All right, a good trick you can do that I've read, I've seen, multiple different versions. Some people use tape, some people use, uh, I've seen some people use uh, zip ties. You can also use rubber bands to so rubber band these together so that they don't fly apart on you. Alright, then you will locate your camshaft holder that has a number two on it. This one is numbered, damn it. And you go ahead and slide that on. Let me make sure I have it. There we go. Okay, so the two, the number two will actually face down. Alright, so you pretty much just repeat this process throughout the next sets, um, and then uh, you'll put the end cap on. Alright, so I've completed mine. I also added a zip tie to the whole thing, or uh, quite a few different zip ties, so that you can pick the whole assembly up itself um, without it coming apart. Uh, and one thing I like to do is check behind myself and just make sure that this middle rocker can move freely without the other two. If, it, if any of the other two start moving with it, not just like because of friction, but because like the pins are connected, then you did something wrong and you need to go back and check it. Uh, another rule of thumb that makes it a little bit quicker, or maybe easier, is you have the nuts on top, on the outside ones, and then, let's see if I can do this, and on the bottom, on the middle, you have this little nub right here. But anyways, if you like the video or if it helped you out any, please give it a like. Uh, if you like videos like this, please subscribe.